How is the earth heated? It all starts with the sun. The sun radiates heat, and this heat travels through our atmosphere. We call this incoming solar radiation insolation. Now, you might think that the heat from the sun simply heats the air around us. Easy peasy. But it's not quite that simple. As this insulation moves through the atmosphere, it can either be scattered, reflected, or absorbed. Insulation can be scattered and reflected by things like clouds and dust particles in the atmosphere, and is absorbed by the land and oceans. Just like the sun radiated heat energy at the beginning of this process, the land and ocean also need to radiate this heat that has been absorbed. This outgoing radiation is called terrestrial radiation. So, during the day, we have incoming solar radiation in the form of short waves called insulation. Then, at night, the heat absorbed by the land and oceans gets emitted as outgoing solar radiation in the form of long waves called terrestrial radiation. This radiation can then be absorbed by gases in the atmosphere, specifically greenhouse gases that trap heat and make our planet warm enough to survive on. This process is called the greenhouse effect, and I will elaborate more on this concept in an upcoming video. So, just to clarify, it is actually the terrestrial radiation that heats up our Earth, not the insulation. Well, not directly, anyway. The Earth needs to maintain a balance between heat gained and heat lost. This is called the global energy balance. The energy received from the sun needs to be balanced by the energy lost to space. Now, if we look at a diagram and we look at the numbers, 100% of the insulation reaches our atmosphere. In the atmosphere, about 49% of this insulation is either scattered, reflected or absorbed by things like clouds and dust particles like I mentioned earlier. If we take 100% minus 49%, we are left with 51% of this insulation that is then absorbed by the land and oceans. Once this energy is re-emitted as terrestrial radiation, some of it is used during evaporation, some is absorbed by the atmosphere, some undergoes convection and conduction, and some is simply lost to space. This process repeats itself over and over again, and this allows Earth to sustain life. 